Hero Graft Adapter. The Hero Graft is a fully subcutaneous permanent access for end stage renal disease patients on hemodialysis. Hero Graft is clinically proven to reduce infection by 69% and improve adequacy of dialysis when compared to central venous catheters. The Hero Graft instructions for use provides patients selection considerations that should be evaluated prior to implanting the Hero Graft. The Hero Graft traverses central venous stenosis, which allows for long term dialysis access. Hero Graft is FDA classified as a graft. However, unlike a conventional graft, there is no venous anastomosis. HeroGraft provides continuous blood flow directly from an artery into the central venous system. The HeroGraft, when used with the adapter, is composed of a venous outflow component and an EPTFE graft connected by the adapter. The EPTFE graft is not supplied by Cryolife. Only grafts specified in the instructions for use may be used with the adapter. The Hero Graft Venus Outflow Component and Adapter are sold separately. See the instructions for use for full details. Equip a standard operating room with fluoroscopic and ultrasound guidance. Vascular access surgical instruments necessary to implant the Hero Graft include items such as a 5 French micropuncture set, various 035 guide wires at least 150 centimeters in length heavy-duty scissors, tunnelers, and atraumatic vascular clamps. An accessory kit is provided to aid in the placement of the Hero Graft. Four dilators are available, a 12 French, 16 French, and two lengths of a 20 French dilator with sheath. A 10 French stylet is also available to aid in deployment of the venous outflow component. A hemostasis plug, atraumatic clamp, and Y-valve with stopcock assembly are also provided. Using fluoroscopic guidance, advance the guide wire to the inferior vena cava. Insert the dilator over the guide wire. Tabs should extend well outside the body. Remove the dilator and plug the sheath with the hemostasis plug. Flush the venous outflow component with heparinized saline. Insert the 10 French stylet into the venous outflow component. Attach the Y valve assembly to the 10 French stylet. Flush the device with heparinized saline and close the stopcock valve. Remove the hemostasis plug and advance the outflow into the sheath using a gentle twisting motion. Using fluoroscopy, advance the venous outflow component tip to the superior vena cava. Holding the stylet in place, continue advancing the venous outflow component into the mid to upper right atrium. Gently pull up while peeling away the sheath as it exits the incision site. Remove the guide wire and the stylet. Clamp the venous outflow component at the incision site. Create an incision at the deltopectoral groove. Cut the lure end off of the venous outflow component and tunnel from the neck incision to the DPG incision. Make an incision at the target artery site and expose artery. Tunnel the graft from the DPG incision to the arterial incision site utilizing the graft markings to avoid twisting the graft. Using fluoroscopy to confirm placement in the mid to upper right atrium, cut the venous outflow component to length. Hold the adapter and the venous outflow component approximately 2 cm from the cut end. Push the venous outflow component over the barbs of the adapter's venous outflow component end. The venous outflow component must advance over both barbs of the adapter's venous outflow component end. After connection, 
Verify the position of the venous outflow component. Remove the clamp, backblade the device, and reclamp. Using a syringe adapter, attach a syringe to the graft and flush with heparinized saline. Verify no leakage occurs at the DPG site and reclamp. To perform the arterial anastomosis, cut the graft to length and ensure the graft is not twisted or kinked. Complete the arterial anastomosis using standard technique. Remove the clamp and verify patency, thrill, and brewy. Close the incision sites utilizing standard technique. For patients at high risk for infection or coagulation disorders, prophylactic treatment in the OR is recommended.